Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Now, today I'm here with a really requested video. Ever since I uploaded my What I Got For Christmas and I was wearing quite bold purple eyeshadow, the comment section had been filled with, please film a tutorial. So today I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna sit down. I have just sat down and filmed this makeup look for you all so that you guys can follow it along at home um, because I feel like purple is something that a lot of people don't wear and that a lot of people could wear. So I didn't go like fully overboard. It's not super intense, but it's definitely quite an out there look. Look. So if you wanted to see how I achieved this makeup look, then just carry on watching. Also just before we hit subscribe down below and turn my notifications on because I'm actually announcing a giveaway winner at the end of this week because last week I uploaded a giveaway so you're going to want to stay tuned to see who's won so make sure to be subscribed down below if you're not already. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is take my foundation and I've been using this foundation for literally ages. Um, so this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish and I use this in the shade 103 True Ivory and I just kind of put like one and a half pumps on the back of my hand. I do go through this really quickly um, but it is quite full coverage so if you're not into like full foundation then this maybe isn't for you but I really like it. Um, and I take this on my beauty blender which really needs washing. I said this in my video last week but um, I just pop this all over my face so I'm just going to move my hair out the way. Okay, so once I've finished my foundation, um, I usually leave it to the point where it's not like full coverage just because I don't want it to be too much. I feel like that you can tell when you're wearing too much foundation. So I usually leave it here and then go straight onto concealer and I'm using the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay, which I actually got for Christmas. Um, and you're probably gonna watch this and be like, Molly, that is way too light for you because it is the lightest shade and obviously my skin tone's kind of tanned. But I really like that it like properly brightens your under eyes because I'm I like always look tired, so. This is definitely the best thing for me. Okay, and then to blend in my concealer, I've actually been using this brush by Real Techniques, and this is the, I think it's like stippling brush or stippling brush, I have absolutely no idea. I just kind of like lightly blended this in. I did used to do this with my beauty blender, but by putting everything on with my beauty blender, the actual product itself was getting so caked in like concealer and foundation that I was like, no, this is gross. So I'm using this at the moment, um, and I really love the packaging, I think it's really cool. Okay, and then for powder I use the classic Rimmel Stay Matte, I feel like everybody uses this so I'm not even going to talk through it, but I just pop this on with the powder brush in my T-zone and kind of like down my cheeks as well. I don't put it over my um, actual cheekbones yet because obviously I haven't like contoured or anything. Okay, so the next product I'm going to use is for contour and this is something I've never used before, so this is a bit of a first impressions as well and this is by Clarins and I don't actually think this is out yet but they really kindly sent me their contour and illuminate palette which I'm so excited to try because guys look how pretty this is, like what the heck. Uh, so I'm going to use the contour shade in this and I'm not sure if it might be like too orange, like I haven't tried it so I don't know but I thought, you know what, I'm going to contour my face up a little bit with this and I'm probably dazzling you, I can see that I am. Okay, so once I'm happy generally, I do just leave it because I don't want to go overboard. Obviously, the focus of this whole makeup look is the eyeshadow, so we're waiting for that point. Next thing I do is highlight, and I have used the Sleek Highlight Palette religiously since I got it for my birthday. And for this, I'm going to use the purple shade, which comes in it, because obviously, purple eyeshadow, purple highlight, um, that kind of thing. And I just pop this on with the Setting Brush by Real Techniques, which I just think fits perfectly on your cheekbones, yeah. I also pop this down the tip of my nose and on my cupid's bow just to brighten that up as well, you know? Okay, so the next thing is eyebrows and I'm going to do this really quick just because you've seen me do this literally thousands of times. I've shown you this so many times and it's always the same. But I use the High Impact Brow Palette and I use the lightest shade which is this one here. And I just take it on an angled brush. This one's by So Eco, but you could literally use any. And I just fill in my eyebrows so I'm going to probably speed this bit up. Right, okay, so I've now finished doing my eyebrows, um, and as you can see, they're not perfect, but it's okay, because we're just dealing with it, they're never that perfect, and they're not the focus of this makeup look, as always, well not as always, the focus is the eyeshadow, which I'm super excited to move on to, and I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to be using this palette, which, as you can see, is one, a very Molly palette, and two, absolutely gorgeous, and this is the Morphe 35P palette, I got this for Christmas, um, and I actually only use three shades and then a highlight as well, um, to like get the purple eye, so yeah. So I'm going to take this base shadow brush, also by Real Techniques, the funky packaging, Lizzie actually got me these, so Lizzie if you're watching, um, but yeah, and I'm going to take this shade here, which is like this, I would describe it as like 
a really dark top kind of colour um, and I put that like through the crease because this is matte and then the others are kind of shimmery. Also I don't want to go too intense with anything really dark because we want to keep this quite like purple. Okay, so then once I've got this on in like the outer third as a transition colour, I do just take something a tiny bit darker. So I take this shade here. Um, obviously these don't have names, so if you have this palette you can pause it and look at which one I'm using. And I just put this in the very, very outer V kind of area, like right here. Just to really darken that bit up. And then the next step I actually do with my finger, just because I feel like you get the most pigment if, if you do it with your finger. So um, I'm taking this shade here, which as you can see is like a really, really vivid purple. And I do blend it out, but um, I'm just putting this in the very centre of my eyelids. Um, and I do kind of go for it, you know, like making sure that I've got a lot on there so it's pigmented. Now this is where you see it start to look like a proper purple eye instead of just like a smoky eye um, and I'm also going to take this under my eye as well just to like pull it all together uh, and I'm just going to use the end of this brush this is by Blank Cosmetics and it's the E40 brush if you were wondering and I just take this under my eye as well okay so then on this brush and this is by Makeup Gallery um, I then take the lightest purple that I'm going to use which is this one in the top right hand corner uh, and I just kind of put this all over the inner side of my eye but I'm not using this for my inner corner highlight because that's that's something different. Um, and I just kind of pop this like over the eyeshadow I've just put on a little bit. And this just kind of brings the three shades together and sort of like lightens it up a little bit as well, which I feel like you need. And for my inner corner highlight, I actually go back to my sleek palette. Also the same blank canvas cosmetics brush. I just kind of like rub off the darker color. Um, and I go back to the purple highlight and I pop this in the very, very inner corner, like right in the inner corner and kind of like down a little bit as well so that it opens up your eyes because if you're watching this and you're like me and you have quite small eyes um it makes you look more awake and like you've got a bit bigger eyes but for the actual eyeshadow itself this is it so I go straight on to winged eyeliner and for that at the moment I'm actually using this one which is by the body shop and I've been using this for a while now it's actually replaced my Kat Von D tattoo liner because I really really like this um, and I just pop this on I'm going to use a handheld mirror so I've got a bit more control Okay, so once I'm happy with my winged eyeliner, I do tend to just leave it, like I never go overboard on making sure they're even because that's like an impossible goal because it just never happens. So I do just move straight on to mascara and for mascara I've actually gone back to my old favourite which is the Rimmel Wake Me Up and I really need a new one of these because this is running out so badly. Um, and this is the point where other people would apply fake lashes but I can't do that. No matter how hard I try, I just do not have the ability to put on fake eyelashes. So I'm just going to put on mascara instead. And then the last thing I do is just read down my beauty blender under my eyes, just in case there has been any fall down. This eyeshadow palette is pretty good as long as you're controlled when you're using it. Um, so, but I do just do this anyway just to make sure there's not any like purple. And then the very last thing I do is put on a lipstick. Now obviously the focus of this is the eyeshadow, as you can see it's pretty intense. So I have just been using a nude lipstick. I've actually gone back to this one by MAC, which completely contradicts what I said in my video last week where I said I don't like MAC lipsticks anymore. But I've been using this one and this is called Modesty um, and it's just like a your lips look better kind of colour. Okay, so that is the finished result and I actually really love this makeup look. I feel like so many more people could probably brave purple but people get scared of it because it's really vivid. So if you're watching this and you're like, you know what, I really want to try some purple eyeshadow, just do it because there's no rule saying you have to wear brown, you know? Everybody wears brown and gold, and sometimes you might just want to be like this. So, yeah, I really recommend it. And if you do, send me pictures, because I feel like that would be quite nice. Tweet me at my Twitter, or tag me on Instagram. They're both on screen now. Um, and you can follow me on there if you want. How smooth was that? <laughs> that wasn't even intentional, but yeah. Be sure to follow me on my social medias that are all linked down below, and give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if there are any other makeup tutorials that you'd kind of want to see, like, uh, makeup tutorials or eyeshadow tutorials, um, leave them in the comments because I kind of want to do a few more. But other than that, I think that is pretty much everything. So don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you next week with a brand new video and at the weekend with a weekly vlog. So bye guys!